Okay, I wanted to do a short video on a new purchase that I just made. This is a sculpting wheel that I got from Amazon. You can tell the box, it got a little damaged on the way to me. This sculpting wheel does not have a different box, it just came in the cardboard box itself. This was a wheel recommended by the Ace of Clay. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. If you're interested in sculpting in polymer clay, he has a terrifically informative channel. All right, we'll take a little look at it. It is four inches tall, and it's seven inches across. It is heavy. It, um, for a small thing, it weighs three, four pounds, something like that. It's got a rubber foot on the bottom. So that actually will help grab, grab whatever surface it's on and make it where it won't slide around. Now, one complaint that a lot of people had online with this was that it was wobbly. And as you can look and see, it is wobbly. But for my purposes, it really doesn't matter. It's not bad enough that it bothers me, and I'll show you why. This is a small figure. I believe he is about 8 inches tall. Whenever I sculpt, I'm mostly making maquettes. I'm doing it to help facilitate an illustration. Um, I do create my own characters. I've got a number of children's books. This particular character is spotlighted in a book I wrote called The Fib, A Wordy Tale, which I can have a link to below. And in creating the character and putting him in different situations, sometimes he was just in angles or positions that it was just difficult to visualize because he's actually, his face especially, is quite complex if you don't know what you're doing with him. So it was real nice to sculpt him out, see where everything was going to be placed, see how I wanted it, size, proportion, and then anytime I needed to put him in any position that I wanted, I could do so. I could also look at lighting and see how he would look under different lighting situations. So a, a table, a little sculpting wheel like this is just really, really handy for doing something like this. Eventually I am going to paint him and it'll be really nice to be able to uh, paint and turn him very easily. So for me, all I'm trying to do is just have a little bit easier access to whatever I'm doing. So I can take this pick go in and carve out the face, the mouth a little bit, maybe around the eyes, and then turn it real quick, look back behind these feathered ears and see if, if I, I like what's going on. And so it, it's just real nice and convenient for me to be able to have something like this that I can turn my figure and just have quick, easy access to it. It would be the same thing with painting the figure, being able to come in and paint on her face, move around, turn the character, really easy, sort of a hands-free thing, not having to hold it in my hand if I didn't want to. So, you know, I think this is really, really nice and well worth the, I think I paid $39 for it. Okay, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative and thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this episode of The Arthropologist, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more episodes like this, think about subscribing. I'm Bill Wilson, and I'm The Arthropologist.